Hey everyone, my name is Wesley, and welcome to part 1 of my Red Dead Redemption 2 series. I'm starting this series with the intention of it being a filler series, whereby I can upload it during the week with minimal editing as I don't have as much time during the week. I will likely be uploading raw gameplay footage more often than not, and there will likely be very little talking during these videos. So if you didn't like my voice or accent, then that's good news for you. I'm currently starting this series with the intention for it to be a road to 100% in Red Dead Redemption 2 but we'll see how that turns out as the series progresses. If you enjoy this video and you'd like to see more like it, then please comment down below, like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. It really means a lot and it will let me know that you'd like to see more of this type of video. If you have any playstyles that you'd like to see me try out, or any goals that you'd like to set me for this series, then please leave them in the comment section below. Or if you'd like to see the videos take a different form, whereby I talk more, or they're shorter videos, or even compilations of funny moments, because just playing this first portion of the game, I've already run into quite a few funny moments, where I'm jumping off my horse and all of a sudden the horse decides to um, r relieve itself, I guess you could say, right by my head. So if that's the type of video you'd like to see, then please let me know. Arthur, any luck? I, found a place I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who has subscribed and watched my videos. All the comments I've received so far have been very positive and it's very encouraging for me and gives me the motivation I need to make the next video. So if you guys could keep it up that would be great. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Goodbye. Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody 
following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be... we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey. I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We miss you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey. You need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith. Get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I... We need you strong. Okay. All right. Let's head out. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Bridge coming up. Take it easy. We lost Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. Hey, I think I see something up the path. Ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is, or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. Yeah. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Move up, Arthur. I'll cover the rear. Before we got too many mouths to feed. Well, we got a few less now, so you should be happy. That ain't fair, Arthur. Okay, let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Whoa. Okay. Let's head down there. Yep. 
Let's hitch up here. Come on, Art. Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. Someone's having fun in there. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Micah. Hide behind that wagon. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of you. Hello? Shut up, Billy. Shh. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the train. Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> There's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur, need some. There's a body of food in the wagon. I hear you. Just Gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you. Go now, buddy. Now, friend. I ain't asking. Yeah! Look out! There's more to faster! Get your strength up for the ride back. I saw. Probably the poor bastard who lived here. Micah found a dead body in the wagon outside. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh. Looks like the poor bastard was married, too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. Place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. Grab anything you think we can use, then meet me out here.
Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Southwest of here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. Get the hell out of here. Go. anyway that looks like a decent horse you should keep him you need to hitch him he's already skittish Okay, we mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on, it'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. You okay, miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband.
Somebody's coming! Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back! How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Now, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed, and he looked for me. Thank you. This way, best I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, it seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Ah, oh. Hours ago, most. Let's cross. See, they continue up that way. Not that way. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy, raining bullets. Watch out for this crevice. Dutch killed a girl in a, 
bad way. But it was a bad situation. I ain't like him, though. We we'll continue along the cliff wall here. Davy got shot. Mac and John both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Damn snow's coming in hard again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. yourself. It's not very wide here. Come on, boy. Horses are getting tired. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's see if he can hear us. Come on, up there. Somewhere. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. I grabbed that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? Come on. about this it's coming from this way okay watch out here and yet of that we're high up here you're telling me There's a drop here. Careful here. Stay low under here. Okay from here. Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up this way. Gap here. Over here. That sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John. Oh, 
Marsh! Over here! Down on the ledge! Best shot! We're coming! Down here! He's down here. That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. <clears throat> Freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See? I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. Uh, you all right? I think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. Keep John's friends off until you're clear. All right, John, come on. Let's get you on that horse. to the others. Yeah. I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. It's just like a, a dog bite. Uh, knew a fella. Got bit by a dog. Died an hour later. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. Coming down the hill! some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. We should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. <laughs> 